The Top 10 Ways You Can Reduce Waste by Nick Winnick Making the world a greener place How can you make the world a greener place? You can help the planet by reducing your carbon footprint. A carbon footprint is a measure of greenhouse gases produced by human activities. Greenhouse gases are created by burning fossil fuels. People burn fossil fuels for electricity, heating, and powering vehicles. One of the biggest causes of climate change is the greenhouse gas known as carbon dioxide. Many scientists believe that carbon emissions are more damaging to Earth than any other kind of pollution. There are many ways you can reduce your carbon footprint. One way is to walk or ride your bike instead of riding in a car. You can turn off lights when you leave a room to reduce energy waste. Reusing plastic shopping bags to carry other items is another way to help the environment. You can recycle newspaper so that fewer trees are chopped down to make new paper. How can you reduce waste? Reducing waste is one of the easiest ways you can help the environment. Once you decide to reduce the amount of waste you produce, you can learn many different ways to do it. Buying more items than you actually need can lead to excessive waste. Before making purchases, whether you are buying food or a new piece of electronic equipment, Consider the waste the purchase will produce. Does the food item have an excessive amount of packaging? If it does have packaging, is the packaging recyclable or made from recycled materials? Do you need a new TV or could you have an old one fixed or buy a used one? These are the types of questions to ask when you and your family are trying to reduce waste. Looking to the future. In the future, the world's population will likely grow much larger than it is today. How can the world support more people, yet still be kinder to the environment? The answer has a great deal to do with reducing waste. Ways to reduce waste in the future. Think about people. Currently, there are nearly 7 billion people on Earth. The population continues to grow, and every person on the planet produces waste. However, there are many simple ways that each person can cut back on the waste he or she produces. Be efficient. Efficient energy products use less energy, but they work as well as or better than the items they replace. A good example is energy efficient light bulbs. These bulbs have become popular because they give off the same amount of light as an incandescent light bulb. However, they last longer, use less electricity, and can be recycled. Ideas for waste reduction. Think about all the times that you have heard people refer to the three R's. The three R's are reduce, reuse, recycle. Reducing is one of the most important parts of being green. Ways to reduce the waste you produce. Think twice before you buy an item. Ask yourself whether you really need it. A great deal of waste is created when people buy items they do not need or cannot use. It is a good idea to remember the following phrase whenever you are thinking of buying an item. Buy what you need and use what you buy. Precycle. Another way to reduce waste is to precycle. Precycling refers to planning purchases with recycling in mind. For example, you may have a choice between two brands of eggs. They are the same price, but one comes in a styrofoam container and the other in a cardboard container. The cardboard can be recycled and even if it should be thrown out, cardboard is biodegradable. The styrofoam would have to be thrown away. It is not known exactly how long it takes for styrofoam to break down, but it will last for at least a hundred years. The eggs in the cardboard container are the better choice for the environment. Try a new activity. Do you spend a great deal of time shopping with your friends? Some people think of shopping as a fun, leisure activity or as a hobby. One result of spending free time shopping may be buying items when you do not really need them. Trying a new activity such as a sport or gardening can reduce waste. There is very little waste created by a tomato that you have grown yourself. Putting items to new uses. Reusing can be thought of as rescuing things that would otherwise be wasted. A water bottle might be recyclable, 
but it could be refilled and reused instead of buying another bottle of water. If a cell phone or a camera breaks, it may be possible to have it repaired rather than buying a new one. Ways to reuse items. Ask questions. Take a close look at an item you are thinking about throwing away. Maybe it is a bicycle with a broken gear shift or an old shirt that no longer fits. Ask yourself the following questions. Can I still use this? And could someone else use this? If the answer to either question is yes, there are many ways you can reuse that item. Find new uses. Many disposable products can be used multiple times before they are thrown away or recycled. Plastic knives and forks can be washed and reused for school lunches. Plastic shopping bags can be used as trash can liners or to pick up dog waste. Plastic water or soda bottles can be refilled and reused. What other items could be used more than once before they are discarded? Every time you reuse an item rather than buying or using something new for the same purpose, you are reducing waste. Repair or donate. Repairing a damaged item can often be cheaper than replacing it. If you do not have a family member who knows how to do this, consider calling the store where you purchase the item for advice about having it fixed. Items you can no longer use or that you no longer need can be helpful to others. Many charities such as Goodwill and the Salvation Army can make sure that donated clothing and household goods get to people in need. A yard sale is another way to ensure your items continue to be used. Efficient energy. Energy from many sources makes our world run. It powers cars, lights homes, and cooks food. Depending on how it is used, energy may be wasted. Wasted energy is one of the easiest problems to solve. New technologies and new ideas are helping to reduce waste energy. These technologies may also save people money. Ways to monitor energy use. Use power strips. Did you know that some devices use power whenever they are not plugged in? Whether they are turned on or not? These energy sucking devices are sometimes referred to as vampires, cell phone chargers, DVD players, microwave ovens, and coffee makers can be vampires. There are a couple of different ways that you can slay these vampires. The simplest way is to unplug the devices. Many people choose to plug their devices into a power strip or bar. Power strips have several outlets with a single plug. They have switches that can be used to easily cut off power to every device plugged into the strip. Try Kilowatt. Many families in the United States have saved money and energy by installing a power meter called a kilowatt. These meters attach to a home's electrical system. Kilowatt meters display how much energy is being used and how much this energy costs. With this information, many people find it easier to keep track of how much energy they use. Keep insulated. Think about the differences between hot chocolate in a cup and hot chocolate in a thermos. The liquid in the thermos stays hot longer because the thermos is insulated. The same idea is true for homes. In cold weather, well-insulated homes get warm faster and stay warm longer than homes with poor insulation. This means that less energy and less money is needed to heat well-insulated homes. Improving a home's insulation by sealing drafts and properly insulating the roof, walls, and floor can be one of the smartest financial and environmental decisions a family can make. Using less water. Earth may be covered by water, but only a small portion of that water is drinkable. Since all humans must drink water to survive, it is important not to waste this resource. Modern homes and businesses can use a great deal of fresh water and often much of this water is wasted. Around the world, people are finding simple 
and innovative ways to save water. Ways to reduce water use. Reuse gray water. There are three major types of water in a modern home. They are drinking water, waste disposal water, and the water used for cooking, bathing, cleaning, and laundry, which is called gray water. Most of the water used in a home will become gray water. Many developers have begun installing gray water treatment systems in homes. Using cleaning chemicals and filters, the gray water is treated until it can be used again for many household purposes. Homes with gray water system can reduce their water use and their water bill by more than 50%. Even without a treatment system, you can reuse some gray water. Try collecting the water that runs in the shower while the water gets hot and then using it to water plants. Collect rainwater. Many homes supplement their water intake by collecting rainwater. This can be as simple as draining your home's gutters into a bucket for watering the garden, or as sophisticated as a system that filters and pumps water into the home. Inexpensive rain barrels are available at most hardware stores. Most of these barrels have a screen that keeps out leaves and other debris. Some even have taps so that watering cans or bird baths can easily be filled with water from the barrel. Modify toilets. A great deal of water used in any home is flushed down the toilet. However, there are ways to reduce the amount of water lost down the drain in your home. New low flush toilets use much less water than older models, and many have an option to flush with more water when needed. If your family does not have a new toilet, you can try the simple tricks instead. Open the back tank of your toilet and place a brick or a sealed container of water in the tank. The toilet will keep the same level of water in the tank. Making compost. Some types of waste can be harder to reduce than others. You cannot add spoiled food or old tea bags to a recycling bin. Most families throw this kind of waste into the garbage. It is possible, however, to find a use for many types of spoiled or uneaten food. Ways to use compost at home. Use compost containers. Fungi and bacteria can cause food to spoil. Most of the time, this spoiled food is thrown away. However, keeping some types of food in a special container can turn it into compost. Most composting is done outdoors. In addition to spoiled food, people put garden trimmings and parts of food that cannot be eaten, such as corn husks and eggshells, into a container in their garden. As these materials break down, they turn into a soil-like material that is helpful to plants. Every so often, some of the compost can be removed and used as fertilizer. Keep in mind that meat and dairy products cannot be composted. Make compost for others. Many people do not have gardens, but almost everyone knows someone who does. If you do not have a use for compost at your home, ask your friends and family to see if anyone would like extra compost. Many gardeners would be happy for the help and you could use some of your home's waste to make compost for them. Small compost buckets are inexpensive, can be kept in the house or garage, and are easy to transport to the person who will use the compost. Try vermiculture. Not everyone can compost outdoors. People who live in apartments, for example, might not have this option. In many cases, people who wish to compost indoors use Vermiculture. Vermiculture uses a colony of worms, such as earthworms, to break down food that would otherwise be wasted. Vermiculture can be difficult to use because the worms' habitat must be kept at a certain temperature and humidity level. However, the worms produce beneficial fertilizer for plants in small gardens or in a window boxes. Helping your community. Protecting the environment is a big job. Taking individual action is a great start, but a large group will see faster results.
Think about ways that you could use what you have learned about reducing waste to help your community. Ways to reduce waste in a community. Whole bottle drives. In some states, people may receive money for turning in empty bottles and cans for recycling. The payment is five or 10 cents per can or bottle, which will add up over time. Bottle drives are a great way to earn money and help the environment. In a bottle drive, People go to homes and businesses in a community and ask residents to donate bottles and cans. Many groups such as a sports team and charity organizations use this method to earn money for their activities. Go online. The web can be a great resource for waste reduction. The Free Recycle Network is a nonprofit group devoted to exchanging free items and keeping objects out of landfills. Some community sites have free classified sections where people can list items that they no longer need. These items can range from moving boxes to furniture. You can also find sites that list upcoming flea markets and garage sales. If you're not interested in pursuing a list, ask an adult for help. Pool resources. One of the greenest ways to help your community is to keep items from being wasted in the first place. Imagine that you have old clothes, books, or sports equipment that you no longer need. You may not have enough to hold a yard sale of your own, but perhaps you can hold one with friends or neighbors. If all of you pool your resources, and hold a sale together, you can earn money. Provide your friends and neighbors with items they might need and keep items from being thrown away. 10 ways to make your home green. If you are interested in reducing waste, you can start in your home. Here are 10 simple ways to make a home more efficient. One, stop air leaks. Heat is lost very quickly through air leaks. Windows, doors, light switches, and electrical outlets may be letting warm air escape. This means that more energy has to be used to heat the house. Sources of heat loss can be sealed with foam, caulking, or weather stripping. 2. Turn it off. If you do not need it, do not run it. Any room without people in it should not have a light on and should not have electronics running. 3. Set your thermostat. You can save money on heating costs and save energy by lowering your thermostat when you are out of the house or asleep. Hardware stores sell thermostats with timers that can be programmed to change temperatures at preset times. 4. Request the test. Certified home energy raters can test homes with a blower door. This device pumps air into your home and helps to keep poorly insulated or drafty areas. This device pumps air into your home and helps to find poorly insulated or drafty areas. Finding and fixing these will help your home become more energy efficient. Five, look for the Energy Star logo. When your family is buying a new appliance, look for the Energy Star logo. This logo identifies products that have been certified by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to be energy efficient. Often, these products use 10 to 30 percent less energy than their competitors. Go with the low flow. Installing low flow shower heads will save water. These are inexpensive and easy to install, and they can save money on water bills every year. Use coil fluorescent light bulbs. Replacing older incandescent bulbs with CFLs which are very energy efficient, will reduce your family's electric bill. If everyone in the United States made this change, the reduced need for electricity could mean that more than 5 billion tons of greenhouse gases would not enter the atmosphere. Clean and maintain your furnace. If your home has a furnace, it is a good idea for your family to have it cleaned every second year. This improves the furnace efficiency by between 5 and 10 percent. It also reduces heating cost and energy usage. Plant a tree. A shade tree or bushes that will grow tall in your front yard can save money on air conditioning in the summer. If your family plants a leafy tree, it will let sunlight through in the winter when it leaves have fallen off, helping to reduce heating costs. Cover your water heater. Putting an inexpensive insulator cover around your water heater keeps the water hot longer, which can save a great deal of energy. To save money and reduce the risk of accidental burns, your family can turn your water heater's temperature down a few degrees. Green careers. In order to have a clean and healthy world, 
in the future, we need to start working towards it now. These are two of the potential careers for people who are interested in reducing waste. Green Artist Career Green artists combine their love of art with a passion for the environment. These artists may sculpt with recycled materials, create weavings with the recycled fibers, design jewelry made from used glass, or find any other way to create art without harming earth. Some green artists work in fashion design, creating clothing from organic cotton and other natural fabric. Many green artists use their work to educate others about various environmental issues. Some of these artists work on their own. Others may work at design or retail companies. Education. A bachelor's degree in fine arts will give a solid foundation for any artistic careers. Green contractor. Career. Green contractors are builders and tradespeople who specialize in eco-friendly products and technologies. Green contractors install insulation, solar panels, gray water systems, and other technologies designed to make homes more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. These individuals often must learn specialized techniques associated with major construction trades, such as electrical work or plumbing. Education. All U.S. states require contractors to be licensed. The details of this license vary by state, but most licensed contractors must pass a multiple choice exam. Time to debate. Should cities fund door-to-door -door collections of materials for recycling programs? Most people would agree that reducing waste is a good idea. However, there are many different ways to do so, and these specifics are often topics for heated debate. In the case of reducing waste, debate typically centers around the funding of waste management programs. Should a city's taxpayers, for instance, pay for door-to-door -door collection of recyclable materials? Should the city save that money and depend on people to drop off recycled materials on their own? Pros. Much less potentially recycled materials will be sent to landfills. Easier participation will encourage more people to take part in local recycling programs. Recyclable collections could be merged with other waste collection activities to save money. Cons. Door-to-door -door collections will increase taxes for property owners. There's an additional environmental cost in the form of more large trucks on the city streets. The bins used for recycling collections are unattractive. 